along to Christmas at the Motorhome Matt Flat. I'm Keith Gooden. And I'm Motorhome Matt. It's not Christmas until Noddy Holder says it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Bless him. Nice pension fund with yeah. that record of his. A million pound a year, I've heard. He does really well out of it, doesn't he? He does very well <laughs> when you consider it's 50 years old. Uh, OK, then, uh, let's dive in. But before, before we do, let's mention our fabulous sponsor, thatleisureshop.com, yeah. and the special Christmas money-off deal Absolutely. that they're giving you if you're buying something from uh, tls.com. <laughs> thatleisureshop.com. Thatleisureshop.com. <laughs> uh, for somebody that you love that's into their motorhoming, caravanning, or... Or camping. What's Indeed. the code? Just put motorhome mat in at the till and all the gifts today. You will get ten pounds off when you spend just a hundred quid. How's that? Spend a hundred pounds, get ten pounds off. If you spend two hundred pounds, you get twenty pounds off. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <You're>... you, Ebenezer. <laughs> You're welcome. You look like Ebenezer. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge is sitting next to me. Uh, okay, then, what, what are we doing? Christmas gifts today. Let's do it. Let's start. Well, Have you well, seen well, what we're well, wearing? Do you like it? Well, we are, we are wearing, especially for the video, some very Christmassy items. <laughs> uh, well, yours is. Yeah. Did you get that shirt off Julian Cleary? <laughs> no, I nicked it out of the uh, lounge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, then, what do we got? Hanging in front of the window. I've got another pair like this at home. <laughs> <laughs> right, the first gift we've got. These are brilliant. These are true utility kind of pocket knives. They're only at $8.99. Or, well, less than that, some of them. So this one is a pair of tweezers and a little pocket tool. Comes with a free carabiner. These are brilliant little stocking fillers. They come with a free key ring as well. Can I see yeah. it? Yeah, it's neat. This one, 30 tools in your pocket. This goes in your wallet. It's the thickness of a credit card. And there's 30 tools in there. Fantastic. Screwdrivers, spanners. Brilliant. Again, that's got a free key ring. They all have. This one's called a Sharky. This is one of my favourite. This is a really good utilitarian tool. Again, a free carabiner. So you can hang it on your key ring or on your belt or wherever. Hang it on a hook. It's got a screwdriver, bottle opener. There's 12 tools on that one. Fantastic. These little metal sort of ding bats, aren't they? And they do all these different jobs. Yeah, they're brilliant. I should be on this shopping TV, I must admit. <laughs> Let's put them there, down there. QTV. How much are they, by the way? Seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. They're very less than a tenner. They're really good. Great boy gifts, I reckon. Yeah, they're great. For Can a, I say that? Yeah, they're great for in your pocket. And, and, I, I love them. Yeah, you, you, like on this one I've got here. You've, it's a true utility card smart, and you've you've got something for your spokes on your bike and a prying tool. And you've got measuring. You've got protractor for angles and stuff like that. Um, for for taking. Uh, the cap off a, a beer bottle. It's brilliant. And then, and, and you've got little sort of screws here going up in 10 centimetre, 10 centimetre uh, indentation. So you can undo any nut or bolt. It's fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Tiny. Fits in your credit card, in your wallet, the mm. thickness of a credit card. Mm, very good. These are great. These are little fold up backpacks. Have you seen these? No, I haven't. These seen are a few them. quid. Yeah. And they are, look at that. Folds from this little packet into a proper backpack. Into a bright blue backpack. Well, this one's blue. There's a whole range of colours. We've got love. We've got one for you here, Keith. Oh, here was yeah, that's yours. Pink. Lovely, yes. <laughs> Shocking pink. Mm. These light blue ones are great, but they've got pockets on the back with zips on, bottle holders on the side, two adjustable straps, shoulder straps, and then they just fold flat. Sort of screw it up, really. <laughs> this is like this is like you get the tent out of the packet. He's trying to put it back now. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Back into a packet. Oh, Jovi, has got it. Zip it up. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I won't zip it up. There we go. It's brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. It's marvellous. <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> they are good. Yeah. Again, these are a brilliant stocking filler. You lots of our customers that have bought stuff from us at the shop. We've given them one of these as a thank you. And we get loads and loads of really positive reviews about this. Never mind the product they bought. They love the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? It's it folds brilliant. really small. It folds up into a little uh, carrying Jude, case. Jude's had one of those for years. Still uses it. It's great. Handy in the car. These are neat as well. Look how small this is. This is a tiny. How big is that? A few inches by a couple of inches. What is it? It's a shopping bag. Oh. A tiny little pouch. Yep. Reminds me of when I was a kid in the 1960s. My mum would always be able to produce a um, a raincoat from a tiny little bag like that. That's what this is like. Yeah, look at that. Good size of all strong. Shopping bag. Look at that. They are perfect. Brilliant. It's fantastic. Go do the shopping, £2.50. Mm. In fact, I think they're less than that. 
A yeah, great, as you say, stocking filler. Well, these are dead handy just to keep in the car. How many times have you walked in the supermarket and gone, oh, blooming bags. Left them in the car. You could almost keep one of these in your pocket, couldn't you? Good. Tiny. Yeah. Let's fold it away. Well, you can fold it up as well. well send it then. <laughs> <laughs> so you might be the lucky customer who gets this. Opened only once. I yeah. can't get it. And remember, these are brilliant in your motorhome or caravan. Keep in the glove box. Keep in the cupboard. Going on holiday, forgot your bags. How an- you have to buy a bag. How annoying is that? It is very, very annoying. It happened to me this morning. Do you want a bag? Oh, yes, please. That's a pound. Really? They're charging a lot for them. I'll have a cheap days. one. That's it. That, that is the is cheap, the cheap one. one. The other one's a tenner. What happened to the five feet ones? <laughs> This is a, a damp control unit. Yeah. Really good. It's like my Tic Tacs. Yeah. Good sound effect. <laughs> so these little things, they are brilliant. This is a lavender mm. flavour. It's got an aroma to it. Don't eat it. Damp control. Leave them in your motorhome or your caravan. Absorbs all the moisture from the air. Helps keep it from damp. Really good. This is a tiny one. Lots of different sizes. We do refill packs as well. So you buy the plastic box once and then you can keep refilling it. Brilliant. Save disposing of the plastic. Good for really putting good. in the loo. Uh, in your loo? Yeah, put it in your loo because, you know, you, you have dampness and water in there and also this has got the air, well, yeah. air freshening the lavender with it as well. That's true, yeah. You put, the idea, you put them in, when your motorhome's in storage, they're ideal then. Yeah, or in the cupboards by a few. Yeah, in, definitely, that's what room. those are designed yeah. for, the small ones. But they're, again, for your loved one, if they love their motorhome or caravan, a great little stocking present. Collapsible drinking cups. Now we love these. Now, if you they're bumped fantastic. into us at the sh- any of the shows... You would have encountered our bright orange pop-up cups. These are collapsible drinking cups. Handy little strap on them. You can attach them to your to your backpack. A lid. And you know, these, they fold up, pop up really easily. There we go. Look at that. Yep. The best bit about these collapsible cups is the aluminium rim on the top. So when you put them to your lips, they feel like a proper cup. Really good. And they are coffee, water, fold flat, pop the lid back on. There we go. Easily, easily stored away. And the light as well. Really light, yeah. There's come in a little box. Um, I think there's four in there, different colours. Lilac, green, orange and grey. How much? 12 quid. That's not bad, is it? Yeah. Well, I remember you get you know 10% off that. If you spend 100 quid, £10 off. Very good Happy indeed. Days. Thank you very much. What's next? So those, man, are just a few of our stocking fillers. The main event is still to come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some that's, of just, that's just the start of Christmas, this the stocking. Is, this is the stocking fillers. We have got hundreds of little things like that in yeah, the shop. There's the just a, a sample. From a fiver up to about 20 quid, which you can yeah. fill a stocking with. You could, uh, easy. We, we've got some brilliant stuff on the way, so stay tuned. Uh, let's talk about something a little bit bigger that you can buy for somebody uh, uh, as a gift. And you're offering a big discount on it, aren't you? We are, yeah. A friend of mine, Anna... Used to own a motorhome hire company. That's how I know her. And she always thought, that, you know, lots of her customers were asking her, as ours do, where do we go? You know, what, how do we plan our trip? So Anna decided, right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to create my own kind of library of routes, trips, and so on. And, and she did all the planning for people and launched a business called Uncover Britain. And the, her website is uncoverbritain.com. And it's a whole load of self-drive road trips and routes with maps, destinations, uh, secret stays and campsites, TV, film locations, world swimming locations. It's absolutely fantastic. And she's r- planned all these routes all over the country. Uh, and I was really taken with it. And it's not expensive at all. In fact, it's just twenty nine ninety nine for an annual membership. And she will then give you all of these routes. But we have a 50% off offer. Well, half? Half price. So yeah. not twenty nine ninety nine. No, Nick, Nick, fifty percent out of that. Just use the code Motorhome Matt, and Anna will give you fifty percent off. So fifteen quid. Fifteen quid, and you've got all your trips planned. They are fantastic. You could do them in the car, but of course you could go off in your motor or caravan, and do them in there as well. So campsites, as I say, she's done the research on those. She's visited, I think, most of them. Well travelled girl is Anna, uh, and it's. A brilliant product, and I think a really lovely gift. I was so taken with it. We, Anna said, you can have 50 deals, Matt, 50% off. Uh, and I said, wow, that's very kind. There's 49 because I bought one. It was that good. <laughs> and it is great. So we're already planning some of the trips for next year. So if you're looking for something creative for someone that's often heading off in their camper van, perhaps they're new to it, this could be ideal. Uncoverbritain.com. Go and check it out. Really good. Use the code MOTHOMEMAT at the checkout, and it's Half price. 15 quid instead of 30 quid. And, of course, you spoke to Anna as well, didn't you, at the NEC show? We did. Yeah, we had a lovely chat with Anna, and I asked her to tell us a bit more about the launch of this brilliant new website. So I'm here with Anna 
at Uncover Britain. How are you doing, Anna? Hello, good, thank you. The yeah. last time we met was at my house, and you came to me with this kind of concept. It was still early days, wasn't it, for Uncover Britain. Tell us a bit about it and what, how people can engage with it. Well, we used to run a hire business, and people were asking us all of the time to recommend places to go. So let me stop with this, a motorhome hire business. Yes. Yeah, I yes. remember well. Uh, um, very enjoyable, but because we kept getting asked about destinations, we thought that it would be the next natural step to develop that idea. So we got on board with a lot of uh, tourist boards and started working with this project, and it's been really exciting. We've, um, we're motorhomers ourselves and camper vanners, so um, we're using our own experience as well. And it's been a project that we've been undergoing for a couple of years and developed into a membership website. So it's how much? It's twenty nine ninety nine normally. Yeah. Today at the show, we're doing a show code for nineteen ninety nine. That's, That's for a year. For a year. For and what do you get for the year? year? 27 road trips, routes, maps extra premium content so we've got hidden gems viewpoints wild swim spots film and tv locations all sorts of things so for 20 quid you get 27 road trips it will save you absolutely hours, hours and hours and hours that's yeah. incredible value that's amazing Thank and you have you much. done all these road trips yourself we've done a large amount of them yeah but we've had researchers helping us with them as well that's brilliant. And you're working with the local tourist boards. Are you selling them into them or getting them to sponsor them to you? How is that working? They've been supporting and helping us with it. So, yeah, we're, we're working together. They've been really helpful. We're running a competition at the minute with Cotswolds Tourism. I don't know if you can see on there. Win £500 worth of experiences. The experiences are um, part of the experiences that you can access via our Cotswolds um, road trip. It's fantastic, Anna. And what interest have you had so far? Oh, we've been non-stop. Everyone's looking. We've been showing, giving demonstrations of what the website actually looks like and talking about road trip routes non-stop all day. Your favourite thing. <laughs> well, I could talk all day about motorhomes and camper vans anyway. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah, me too. Well, have a great show. We're going to get Thank out you your hair because there's a queue of people behind the team, behind the camera, trying to get to talk to you as well. Oh, so have a lovely show. Thank you, And you uh, we'll, we'll catch up later in the week. So getting on. Really good to talk to you. Thanks Thank you, for coming Anna. over. That was Anna from Uncover Britain. And remember, if you enter the code MOTOMAT at uncoverbritain.com, Anna will give you 50% off. Thank you, Anna. Very generous of you. £15 instead of £30. Yeah, Brilliant. bargain. OK, we're delving into more of our stocking fillers and also big presents now for Christmas for the motorhomer, caravan or camper. This, these are presents for your motorhomer or caravan that loves cooking. Go on then, Keith, what have you got there? Oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> this is <clears throat> anti-slip Granada Midday. It says it's stone touch melamine. Mel melamine set, plates, bowls, side plates, main plates. These are gorgeous. They're from the company Brunner. Uh, they are a very high-end melamine manufacturer. Uh, and these these feel and look real, like you know bone china. They're really beautiful. Just under £69. Really? Yeah. That's a, that's a good deal and fairly light as well. Yeah, they are. They're very light. Let me, I won't drop them. Oh, sorry. The best bit about them is anti-slip, so they won't slide about. Oh, that's, that's great. That's good, yeah. This is good. Look at this. What on this. earth? Is that a satellite dish? It's a satellite dish, isn't it? <laughs> it's not a satellite it dish. Is. It's a colander. So a look, colander. it's a pop-up colander from Fossils. It's called a snap-fold colander. Look, Don't give this one to a, wa to, to a wife, by the way. Don't, you know, I mean, you're just motorhome. Because you both like motorhome, do not give your missus she a colander. It. She'll kill you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all she's getting. <laughs> <laughs> and easy, just snaps up, look, and then fold out and push it down. Click, fold flat in the cupboard. Genius. Yeah. It is, Handy in the cutlery it, drawer. It is, and you can use it for storage for vegetables and stuff like that. According to the picture, you can. Yeah. 8 99 That's a bargain, isn't yeah. it? Really good. We love those. Right, okay. next up, go on then, go for the book. Here is the book. <laughs> if your loved one loves reading and wants inspiring wilderness chef the ultimate guide to cooking outdoors by that great outdoorsman ray mears yeah lovely book that. It, is it sensible food over, it's, it's not eating frogs and worms <laughs> and stuff like that 100 it? recipes over 100 recipes in there beautifully illustrated as well clam chowder how to poach an egg he's doing a dealia isn't he australian <laughs> billy tea omelette in a pristine pan 
A pristine pan. A pristi- the pristine pan, Look yes. at that. How to fry a steak. Lots of people need to know that. Most people can't fry steaks. Uh, oh, sticky rice in a bamboo tube. I can't I can't <laughs> tell you the amount of times at Christmas we all gathered round the old Joanna eating sticky rice from a bamboo tube. It was fabulous. <laughs> it is a lovely book. Yeah. Cheers, lo- Ray. <laughs> <laughs> this is more my style. Look at this. Grill pan. It's actually a camp stove toaster these are genius you want to make toast and you haven't got a toaster or a grill all you've got is a hob you need one of these the camp stove toaster here it is look at that oh i love these you literally stand your bread on it and it will heat up on the hob and toast your bread lovely and it just folds flat he said (laughs) it does it it does fold flat eventually (laughs) oh that's brilliant handy to store pop it up yeah but it will go up. There we are. <laughs> you should have quit while you were ahead. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> You'll be fine with it. Don't worry. There you go. Done. There yeah. How much that. is that then? Six ninety nine. That is a bargain. Six pound ninety nine. Yeah. Genius. Brilliant. And you can use that whether you've got motorhome, a caravan, or you're camping out. Oh, or you're camping out. Yeah. On your, on your hob. Yeah. I've got a fantastic one here. The Urban Outdoor Cutlery Set. This is Harlem, is the design on it. Lovely wooden handles uh, and uh, stainless steel, uh, as you can see. Uh, looks beautiful, actually. Two forks, two knives, two spoons. Really Stainless nice. steel. They're lovely, aren't they? I mean, it's just, you know, camping cutlery. <laughs> beautiful. It's fantastic. These are great. These, I love these. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. This is the Brunner breadboard. These are really nice. So this is a wooden breadboard uh-huh. in a plastic tray. So when you're cutting the bread, you don't want crumbs everywhere, do you, in your camper van? So this collects the crumbs, pour them away. You've got a little breadboard. Anti-slip as well. So you've got the breadboard, you've got the knives and forks, you've got the plates, you've got the cookbook, yeah. you've got the little it's actually toaster. Made a, it's bamboo. You can buy the whole lot for less than 100 quid. 11.99. Yeah. Bargain. And really nice as well. They come in different colours. This is the orange one. I had to pick the orange one, didn't I? They're really lovely. Yeah, really nice little gift. Anti-slip too, as I say. Not so effective when it's shrink-wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, lovely little present. You could be the proud owner of this one. Oh, there is that are. a kettle I see before me? It is. Ah, Love these. Old-fashioned kettle with a whistle. Whistling kettle yeah. and not Fantastic. silver. Bright red. We do a whole range of colours in these. Bronze, lilac, green. This is the red one. Yeah, beautiful little kettle. Different sizes as well. Not sure what size this one is. 1.5 litre. One and a half litres. More yeah, than good. enough to make your tea in your cup of soup. I'll go and heat it up now. We'll have a brew, shall we? Yeah, it's lovely. I like the base on it. It's a nice heavy base, isn't it? Actually, isn't it? Yeah, makes yeah. a good noise. Yeah. Stylish, too. Start Very stylish, mm. yeah. Mm. Nice. Lovely. Kettle. So Whistling kettle. So that is cooking. For Christmas in your motorhome. We've got some more gifts on the way. Uh, things that are best for motorhomes and caravanners next up. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's start off with... One of Av- my favourites. Let's start off with Avtex. Look now, this. some big news on this. Not just this. We've got a competition coming. Oh, turn, is it turned around the right way? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a telly. This is their new TV. This yeah. is the 23.8-inch full HD smart TV with built-in satellite decoder. These are amazing. If you've got a motorhome or caravan, you love watching telly, you definitely need to look at the Avtex range. So what's so special about a, t- a television you put in a motorhome rather than one you can just buy cheap down the supermarket? It's co- other than being quite heavy, can I put it down? <laughs> <laughs> the, the big thing with this, put it, put it on the floor, Keith. The yeah. big, big thing with this, it's got everything in it. You can watch Netflix on it, YouTube. You can decode a satellite dish. You don't need any external box. So it will connect to the Wi-Fi and it will just stream everything in within it. It's brilliant. You don't need any external bits and bobs. And what's the power requirement? Uh, 12 volt or 240 volt. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. So you run it off your battery. As long as you've got a battery man enough. I mean, you, a, a leisure battery will easily let you watch a couple of films. Easy. They're brilliant. They're metal framed as well. So they're incredibly strong. And the big plus about them is the viewing angle. So you can imagine you're sat right next to the television. The picture is still perfect. 180 degree viewing angle, which in, in a motel or caravan is really important because you're at home, you're sat in the lounge and you're pretty much staring at it front on, aren't you? In a motel, you're kind of in a very confined space. Yeah. Though, uh, 
if you're sat on a funny angle, the, the blacks can go really contrasty, can't they? You get this really funny kind of sheen effect. They don't do that. Yeah, well, try it at home with your television at home. Go right round so you're looking at it from 180 degrees and some tellies you won't see anything. The picture uh, just disappears. Yeah, it does. Yeah, these are the brilliant, really good. So that's the Avtex TV, but we're giving away an Avtex soundbar, aren't we? We are. Really easy to win. Just go to thatleisureshop.com forward slash win. And all you need to do is put your name and your email address, tick the box, and we'll put you in the competition to win an Avtex soundbar. And uh, that is drawn when? Blue Monday. Which is when? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know when it is? 17th of January. 17th of January. That is yeah. the day where everybody is the most depressed in the whole year. It's after Christmas. Yeah. The depths of winter. Something to cheer you up. You could, if you entered, be the winner of that Avtex soundbar. Well, cheer someone up. <laughs> yeah. So buy the telly for somebody for Christmas, win the soundbar, and you're away. You'll be uh, the envy of the campsite in you future. Now, Let's uh, stick with Avtex. Uh, are we going to stick with that? Yeah, look at this. This what is their got? this is their sat nav, the Tora Two. It's called. It's really good. Done in partnership with the Caravan and Motorhome Club. It it contains within its memory the Caravan and Motorhome Club campsite directory. Really clever. You can put the size and dimensions of your rig, your motorhome or caravan. Keeps you off those lanes with grass up the middle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we always end up on one. I don't know why. It's a it's a sat nav for motorhome caravan. It's powered by Garmin. Really clever, very good. Don't know how much it is, I haven't got a price on it. Oh, yeah, it's £349. These are brilliant. Nice gift, isn't it? A fantastic gift. That's a big gift. And here we are. Look, 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 look. Oh, <laughs> it What's looks that? like the front of a VW camper. It's a cool bag. It's a cool bag for keeping your beers, your lemonades, and your sandwiches nice and cool. Very nice, aren't they? Range of colours red, blue, green. They're lovely, aren't they? If you, if you love someone that's into their VWs, these are a must-have, aren't they? Absolutely. 20 quid. Yeah. Bargain. 20, is that all? 20 quid? Yeah. That is very good. Now, this is one of our best-selling books in the shop, beautifully illustrated, The Van Conversion Bible. Absolutely brilliant. Charlie Lowe and Dale Comley wrote it. And the, honestly, the detail they've gone into, goodness knows how long it took them to write this book. But if you're thinking of converting a van into a camper you can save yourself, I'm sure, a fortune and years of learning. This is an ideal go-to guide on everything. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's it, got the electrics in it. I was even thumbing through it, and they tell everything. you which drill bits to buy. And It's brilliant. Yeah. They cover everything. It's beautiful. It must, have, it must have taken them ages to put this together. Photography's great as well. It's a lovely hardback book. Uh, they are twenty four ninety nine, available at thatleisureshop.com. They even compare batteries, you know, lithium ion to uh, it, everything you need to know. And, and yeah. they, they tell you the reason which ones you should go for. Really, it is a brilliant book. It is beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Well done, guys. Still love it. What else you got under there then? This has to be my favourite Christmas gift. They're all my favourite, Keith. I love this. This is the Auto Glim HD Wax Kit. Love this. This is like a guilty pleasure for me. Is it really? What do you do? Do, you do your legs? <laughs> it's not that it's, kind of wax. It's not that. Oh no, it's not. It's high definition wax for your car, for your motor, for your caravan. Brilliant. Once a year, put this on. Beautiful. Love it. You know, I remember as a child, what well, child, teenager, Boxing Day, given give one of these, and I'd go outside Boxing Day and I'd just polish the car. <laughs> you know, as a proud twenty-something-year-old with your with your Ford Escort. Mine was an XR3i. Loved it. It was blue. Dark blue, and I'd go and treat it with a wax coat. Loved it. I had, I had a 1600E. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> but somebody, the person I bought it off, had not waxed it and had over cut it, over polished it. So I was the first person in the country with a, a matte finish, which is very fashionable these days. It is. Apart from the fact that I'm talking about 1982. <laughs> So that's just some of the gifts there, which are best for motorhomers and caravanners. Next up, the best for camping. Yeah. It's the Motorhome Mad Podcast, a Christmas special. Uh, this early December, we have got together, if you're watching a video, we have got our Christmas gear on. I've got <laughs> tinsel, well, you have. tinsel down my trousers. <laughs> It's fantastic. Got tinsel everywhere. It's like it, a grotto. It is like a grotto. Santa hats. Yeah, that glitter Loving gets it. stuck in every crevice. Get, get in. <laughs> <laughs> we are going through some of those stocking fillers and big gifts for the people in your life who love motorhoming, caravanning or camping. This now is the list of things which are best for camping. And first of all, this we have great. got this tent. Now, I've seen your YouTube video for this tent. Yeah. 
uh, in the past and it is a remarkable product just a maypole two berth auto tent this tent goes up in seconds literally in seconds my daughter took one to reading festival and her uh, two friends all slept in it and had a whale of a time they loved it it's great if you go go to that shop.com and search auto tent and you can watch the video there. It's brilliant. It's so easy to put up and down. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? When you see pictures of Glastonbury at the end of the festival, there's all these tents which are left behind because people can't fill them up again. Can they? Well, and also they can't be bothered to, which is awful. This you would want to take home. Mm. This literally, it's so easy. The poles are part of the tent, and it goes back up into this bag really, really easily. And I am not a tenter. I'm not a fan of a tent, except this one. This went up really quickly and went back in the bag really easily. Love it. Yeah. Really good. If you've never seen the video, catch the video. It really is. I mean, we're not overselling this. It's a remarkable it product. It is great, yeah. It really is absolutely brilliant. So what have we got up next? We've sold what, hundreds of those this year. What, what's we got there? This is your chair. Ah, it's a chair for the little ones <laughs> in your life. Look at this. It's a little oh, child's unicorn chair. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we've got dinosaur ones for the boys. Yeah. Oh, oh, unicorn oh, ones for the girls. A, a boy can sit in a pink one as well, you know. Well, they could, yeah, why yeah. not? Well, I suppose, yeah, we're <laughs> genderising, aren't we, I suppose? You are. I am. <laughs> genderising. Is that a thing? <laughs> That's not a word, no. Gender conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. I can't yeah. fold it out. That's... Lovely. Right. If you've got kids, it's great to give them their own seats and they do love it. They appreciate yeah, it's it. It's lovely. They come in a bag as well, of course, like any camping chair. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Really nice. Fantastic. No, this is one of my favourites. This is your Christmas gift. Thank Keith. you. You've given this to me and I really appreciate it. Now, watch this. Hold Nicely that. wrapped. Hold that. I got it. So, so you open it like this and then the middle comes out of the seat bit there and that goes down the bottom and that sort of makes it strong. And then you put the top on and what you've got is an ottoman. You can sit on that and store things in it. And it looks like a tree stump. I think that's fantastic. He's so taken with this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it's brilliant. <laughs> you can have that in the garden or anywhere. It's not just for motorhoming or camping. It's brilliant. Look, look good in the bedroom as well, wouldn't it? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful how you say that to the, the other half, won't you? Yeah, yeah right, darling, this will look good in the bedroom, wouldn't it? <laughs> This is another favourite of mine. This is the Nebo Collapsible Lantern, the Galileo it's called. What a name for this. Beautifully packaged. Open up, press the button, you ready? Oh, that. wow, that's, that's, that's brilliant. It's bright, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine that on your table when you're away. And, and the great thing is it folds it? up, it folds flat. So all those space concerns that you've got in a motorhome or a camper van or even your backpack, you've got that light and it folds flat. That's the important thing. A thousand lumens. So Which is, that's a lot of lumens. Yeah, it's a lot of lumens. You can dim yeah. it down. And it will really dim. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bright red. You can earn a bit of extra money. There. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you're creating a nice ambience. Yes, and, and another great feature is a USB out. It's USB rechargeable. Yeah. So there's no batteries. Mm -hmm. But it's got a USB out so you can charge your phone. Oh. And then so, to push it down. Look at that. So for anybody just listening to this, it dims, goes very bright, 1,000 lumen, and you have the option of doing it red. Now, now, you might, why is it red, you think to yourself? Let me tell you, as an amateur astronomer myself, white light when you're outdoors ruins your night vision. But, if, but red light doesn't. So you'll find if you want to look at the stars oh. or the planets, if you use the red one on there... You don't have to then wait five minutes while you're night. What is that then? That's flashing. <laughs> <laughs> that would give you an epileptic fit if you're not careful. It would, yes, yes. You might have to put a warning on this video. Yeah, I think you're probably, probably right. I don't know. That's just to attract people before you put the red light on, I suppose. <laughs> 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 it's really good. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, and it felt up. Brilliant. How much do you reckon that is, Keith? 25 quid. 29.99. Oh, well, there you are. That's not Look at that. that that's an emergency beacon, though, isn't yeah. it, if you needed it? So if you use one of your codes, can you get it cheaper or not? Yeah. Just yeah. put Motorhome Matt in at the till. Yeah. The spend, checkout spend online. Spend quid and get ten or off. Yeah, bargain. Yeah. Free money, as you say. Love that. Nebo Galileo. Collapsible lantern. Really good. We love that. We love Nebo. So that's the sp stuff which is uh, best for camera. Out. You got something else? Oh, no, these, are oh. great, these are great fun. Have you seen this video no. where we demo this? Well, I haven't seen this. No. This is a solar PHF shower. Right, this is a shower in a bag. What's PHF stand for? No idea. Right, yeah. Pretty huge something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something to do with the sun, isn't it? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Well, so, so the sun heats it up, does it? It's solar powered, so it's a black bag. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of de-glamorising it. And you it put the water in it? Put the water in, and it gets to 
a hot temperature, I can't remember how much, mm. gets up to 40 degrees in the sun yeah. in literally a few hours. And we tested this. Yeah. We actually filled it with water. And? It was a pretty warm day. It yes. was boiling hot, warm. What happened? And left it outside for a few hours. And it was genuinely hot. Did you get your kit off and shower? No, I didn't. I kept my kit on. Yeah. And we had a guy here on work experience who decided it'd be funny to get up the ladder that I was hanging this from with a big bucket of water and he poured it all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just search Solar Shower on that leisure shop and you'll see the video. It was very funny. How much? I, I got soaked. They're less than a tenner, seven seventy nine. Really? Because actually there's quite a bit of technology in there. As you say, it's a, a black bag which does concentrate the heat. It's not just any old black bag. No. There's science behind this. There's even a graph on the back. We get people buying two or three of these because yeah. you know, they are so cheap and so useful. It's great with the kids as well if you're down the beach as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, as illustrated in the picture on the front. Yeah. Very good. Novel little present. We've been going through our list of stuff for Christmas presents for motorhomers, caravanners and campers. Best for camping, best for motorhomers and caravanners. Best for cooking. Yeah. Had a guest interview. Best stocking fillers. Now it's miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> it's just extra items. These are, Look at this. Oh, wow. What is that? This is a magic watering can. This yeah. is a compressed watering can. You literally fill it with water. And it expands. So it expands out bigger than that. It's yeah. not that skinny. So if you think of a watering can, but like two inches wide and a, a big sort of reinforced plastic bag in the middle, when yeah. you fill it up, then well, that plastic bag expands. Many people fill their camper van from a watering can, but then you've got to store it and they're yeah. big bulky things, aren't they? This is ideal. It folds almost flat. Yeah. Really clever. Brilliant space safe. Blue idea. or green. Yeah. Just a few pounds. Genius. Fantastic. Well, that's a, that is a very good one. I've got a great book here. It is uh, 100 Great Walks with Kids by Jen and Sim Benson. I've just been thumbing through this, I must admit, a little bit earlier. And it's things like spotting UFOs, seeing a white horse, yeah. uh, going uh, uh, and uh, walking with Wordsworth at Tintin Abbey. So if somebody is like, doing GCSEs and poetry and stuff like that, you bring can it to life. help to bring it alive. A hidden world at Tarn House in Cumbria. You can do these walks with the kids. And what it does is it's, it's, it's there to inspire their imagination as well. It's a brilliant book, isn't it? Yeah, get them outside, engaging with nature. Reminds me of the Outjoyment Report from the Camp and Caravan Club. 100% Outjoyment yeah. Report. You get, people's state of mind is much improved by getting out and about and uh, enjoying the countryside. £16.99 for that. That's a nice gift. Yeah, it's a lovely book. And if you're not sure what to buy them, you could always buy them a gift voucher. So at thatleisureshop.com, if you search gift vouchers, there's two types. You could buy them a voucher for the shop, or you could buy them a motorhome hire voucher so you could if they're thinking of going off in a motorhome or camper van or buying one in the future and they want to try one first you could gift them part of the cost or all of the cost with a voucher for the hire business that sounds good and let's talk about that leisureshop.com which sponsors the podcast and the specials that uh, that you've got to go in if you put a special code in spend 100 pounds get money off don't you, you? get 10 pounds off when you spend 100 just use the code motorhome mat at the checkout easy Oh, well, what a bunch of fabulous <laughs> presents that we've got here. Christmas has arrived early as far as I know. That's just one shelf of a thousand. That's brilliant. And if you're watching the video, you'll see that we've really made the effort for our Christmas costume. Got tinselitis and everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. So uh, you got the discounts. you got the presents. Christmas is on the way. Sorted. You want to know more about uh, the podcast? What do people do? Just go to motomat.co.uk. You'll find all the information there and if you've got a question for us we love getting them if you're a regular listener you'll know that you can submit your question by recording it just press the orange button record your question please remember tell us your name and where in the country you are send us your question and we'll try and include it on a future podcast episode you can also find there all the places you can listen to the podcast and of course you can watch it on youtube and remember if you're there click the thumbs up and click the bell and then youtube will remind you when a new episode is released. In the meantime, all that's left for us to wish you is a very, very happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs>